Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Wanted to bring you some updates from today. So um, first I'm gonna show you a video. We have, um, I think three videos I'm gonna show you and then the um, update that Chatham County had put out, basically reiterating what they had already said. So let me play the one that I've already got, got on the screen here for you, so here. New information in the search for the body of a 20 month old boy. Tonight, we are bringing you content you will see only on News 3. It is a picture of Quentin Simon's mom at a Tybee Island bar just hours after federal agents left a landfill looking for her child's body. So far, Leilani Simon has refused to comment on Quentin's death. Leilani, do you have anything to say? Leilani. Tell us where Quentin, what happened to Quentin? Today, federal agents and police officers returned to a landfill for a second day to scour the property for Quentin's remains. WSCV's lead investigative reporter, Brett Buffington, is joining us live now from the Joint Task Force Command Center near that landfill. And that is where the search for Quentin continues. And Tina, some dozens, dozens of agents, they just left for the day. They started at sunrise this morning. They will be back at sunrise tomorrow. They told us yesterday that this search, it could take days. This is the shot from above. Federal agents lined up, raking through garbage. Yesterday, this went on for hours. Today, this is the shot that is trending. That's Lelaney Simon, the only suspect in her son's disappearance. Lelaney, her mother, Billy Jo Howell, and others at a popular Tybee Island bar last night, just hours after the search for her son wrapped up. We've learned from the people who waited on them. They took shots, got flirty, and even demanded one waiter's phone number. The investigative unit with the shot showing the missed phone call, that number, from Billy Joe Howell's cell phone. That grandmother today telling these Tybee Island cops, we were starting to annoy her. We found Billy Joe Howell leaving this Tybee Island hotel. She didn't stop to talk to us then. And though it says she read this message asking about last night, she didn't text us back either. This is my baby, not yours. It was just over a week and a half ago. Billy Joe Howell got into this emotion-fueled argument. You were wrong. I begged you to help. I begged you to help. Last night, the party, according to the waiters, ran up a tab over $300 while protesters stood in front of the family's house demanding justice for Quentin. Listen, there are so many people asking tonight, why hasn't this mom been arrested? She's the only suspect in the case. The Chatham County Police Chief doubled down on what he's told us yesterday, that when they filed charges, when they file those charges in this case, if they file those charges in this case, they want to make sure that they don't get hung up on any technicality. Tina? Brett, thank you. Now, if you would like to stay up to date on this case, you can do it by going to wsav.com slash Quentin Simon. You will find a timeline of events in the case as well as exclusive content of our coverage. Okay, so that's one video. I will take you to one more. So I'm not gonna show you the third one because it says the same information that was just in that one. Um, it's just by News Nation. So I, will, I won't show you that third one you'll be like this is the same information but let me show you this this one is um it's called police called to tybee tybee tibby tibby whatever island after hecklers find quentin simon's family well today marks two weeks since savannah toddler quentin simon was reported missing as investigators continue to search a Chatham County landfill for his body. Now we've learned new information about the whereabouts of his mother, the prime suspect in this case. Uh, Brooke Butler reporting from the nearby command center. She has new insight tonight about where the prime suspect's mother, Lilani, was recently seen. We want justice for Quentin, just like everybody else. As investigators wrapped up their first official day of searching at this Chatham County landfill, Quentin's mother, Leilani, and grandmother, Billy Joe Howell, were spotted miles away on Tybee Island. 
the host of a popular bar and restaurant tells me they were taking shots at their establishment and being, quote, very loud. This just hours after police announced they believe Quentin's body was thrown away like trash. We believe that he, he was placed uh, in a specific dumpster at a specific location, and it was brought here by regular means of disposal. The mother and daughter were spotted again Wednesday morning at a Tybee Island motel. Police confirmed with WJCL they were called to Sandcastle in twice over people, quote, exercising their First Amendment rights and shouting at the motel. They say no arrests were made and no police report was filed, but a woman who identified herself as Billy Joe told officers she would be leaving and wouldn't come back. When we were there at around one in the afternoon, there was no sign of the two. But police don't believe Leilani's a flight risk. As for why she hasn't been arrested yet. Because we're not ready to charge anyone yet. We still have work to do. We still have an investigation to do. And we are not going to do anything um preemptively that would harm future prosecution now it could take investigators days weeks even months to find quinton simon's remains but they're determined to do so so he can get the final resting place he deserves reporting in chatham county i'm brooke butler wjcl 22 news okay and then let me take you over here to Chatham County. They have this picture. They state, um, as true today is when CCPD Chief Jeff Hadley said this to reporters yesterday, quote, we're not ready to charge anyone yet. We still have work to do. We still have an investigation to do, and we're not going to do anything preemptively that would harm a future prosecution. We believe in our investigators. I believe in the expertise we've brought to bear here. We're tracking in the right direction with this photo. And I try not to really put my opinion too much on here, but I feel like everyone needs to really lay off of law enforcement quite a bit on this. Um, you have no idea how much goes into a landfill search. And if you don't know how much goes into a landfill search, I recommend that you look into it before jumping down the throats of where they've been and what took them the whole weekend, why they were you know, off for the weekend. They weren't off for the weekend. They were planning this. Um, this is no easy task. It's very extensive. It's ex extremely difficult. It's ex <laughs> It's, it's nothing easy about this at all. And um, it's very quick. It was a very quick turnaround, actually, considering it took five months for Zion to get her search of the landfill for her. And it's not going to be a quick one for them to find him. Um, and if they do, it, it's, it's all props to them. Um, and then also Brett Buffington. Um, this is the photo that they were just showing. Um, and it just says, quote, they had shots, were flirty and demanded a waiter's number. The wait staff from the whatever island bar told me that Leilani, Billy Joe and friends racked up a tab over $300 while protesters were in front of their house as the search continued in a dump for Quentin. And here's the picture. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then also this, um, we found Billy um, Quinton's grandmother at the hotel across the street from that beach bar this morning. She told Tibby, whatever, Island Police that I was starting to annoy her. Here's that picture. And then the photo that first got put out, um, the WSAV investigative unit has learned as federal agents were ending their first day of searching that Quentin, at, for Quentin in a dump, his mom and grandmother were taking shots and drinks at a popular um, beach bar with the full picture. And then um, Quentin Simon's neighborhood, and this was last night, the memorial in what was the toddler's front yard is 
is contrast to the protesters across the street screaming for an arrest. While just a few houses down at the small gathering of stuffed animals at the heartbroken babysitter's home. And these are the photos. So these are some of the updates, but um, I will see if there's any others that end up coming out. But I just wanted to share with you what's kind of going on today, what's been happening. It's been chaotic. We know um, a lot's been going on with some other YouTube creators and screaming and yelling that's taken place. Um, I'm not going to show that here. It's um, other places. If you want to see it, you can definitely um, take a look. I know that. Um, Queen B has it on her channel, and I know that the Glarer has it on his channel, so you guys can check out either of them if you'd like to see it without having to go and go to the YouTubers page to check it out um, if you want to see it, but um, yeah, a lot. It's crazy. I don't think that going out and drinking, I mean, I kind of, I guess I get it. You're about to spend the rest of your life probably locked up. Uh, you so you're probably trying to just uh, live life as normally as you can prior to that. We're trying to get your mind off the fact of what horrific, heinous, awful thing you've just done. But it's not a good look. It's really, really not a good look. Um, I mean, you're obviously going to have a lot of critics if you go and behave that way. Who thinks you deserve to go out and have any kind of fun, right? Um, it's just like distasteful is all. It's disgusting, really. So. Yeah, it's disgusting. The whole thing, everybody, everybody's behavior in this whole situation. I do not, I don't stand by it. I buy any of it. But I will update you guys. Like I said, anything comes out, um, I'll let you guys know. I will be over on the Look of My Life channel tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And we're going to be going over, um, I'm about to draw a blank, uh, Gabby Petito and um Maya Miliate's case um both of those will be covered tonight over at the local my life channel so that is where I will be um live but like I said I will bring anything else I do see hope that you all have an awesome day or night wherever you are I'll talk to you very very soon take care